just understand the majority of it. I'm helping because I speak Spanish so I can help with the translation and the community so she doesn't feel like the walls. But I'm yeah. just supporting yeah. yeah. Oh, that's yeah. great. Yeah. Doing things in teams. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yes. And I, I hold the camera so that's yeah. what I See, do. I mean, you feel me, right? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what you said at the very beginning was just sounding really good. Can you just say again, like, what the, anyway, there was what all, the, what the uh, public engagement process is, and then we'll get into it. Yeah, yeah, so we're going to, I believe, 37 different places throughout the Bay Area. Um, we're going to farmers markets, all case of libraries, um, and we're also at open streets events, um, transit stations as well. And basically trying to get feedback from folks just like you about what you think about what's going on in the So it's just our way of trying to understand like, what folks are feeling and what they think. So this is great thing here at, you know, people's library and just seeing what's here. So so we understand there's the kids program for them right now and then you're going to be doing a presentation in Spanish. Do you want to just say a little bit more about that? Yeah, so throughout the, our different consultations that we've gone on, we're calling them pop-up workshops. Not really workshops, but they're pop-up. Um, and basically we're asking simple questions of folks to think about the Bay Area in the next 30 years. And we have a series of strategies that we've developed in-house um, from our planning, our forecast, or a modeling team, they've come up with these strategies. They were trying to get feedback. Okay, so it's an internal staff. This has happened in the 50s. Yes. So, first of all, just what if they think about in a 30 year plan? Because that's a long time. Well, 30 years, so this is a typical thing to think about long range planning. So, I mean, this is something that we do every four or five years. So, um, so MTC does the third year of your I think a lot of people here are probably just trying to get the next year's school or maybe a shorter window. Yeah, so long range planning is, um, it's not short term, it's a long range plan, and so because it's a regional plan, um, it also, that's why, even though our offices are in San Francisco, we cover all the way. Okay. So we're the yeah. yes. And it is 30 years. Um, it is mandated by the federal government to be this period. Um, and we do it on the fourth day. And it's not just the Metropolitan Transportation Commission, it's also the Association of the Area. So it's both organizations, both organizations, transportation and business. Where is your funding coming from? So the funding, so I'm not sure about the full answer. Mm -hmm. um, however, I know that we do have some funding that can move from our region, so we do have some money there. there. So there's some money coming from that. Um, also, we do get some money from the federal and state. Percentage wise, I'm not on that team. I don't know. What part of the state? What part of the state? Yeah, we have a California Transportation Administration, the CTA, and they do the rules. And also their visual group, we get some policy from the economy, in terms of our transportation projects as well. So this plan is connected to that as well, and the state has to approve what we do as well. Okay. So even though we go through this visioning process, we hear from the public, we submit a plan at the end, and we adopt it in 2021 by the state. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, like the federal government also. Mm -hmm. It was hard to throw those things. I'm sorry, Julia, yeah. I'm on that because okay. I think that's not very hard to me. Yeah, and I'm like, I'm sorry, I know what I do know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you talked about using these were called pop pop up workshops or pop up yes. events. Well, we'll call them pop ups, but they're, they are a form of workshop. So I'm curious about how you decided to use that as a form for public engagement because my background is kind of doing. In, you know, strategies of bringing people together. So I'm curious about how you decided on using pop up events. Well, um, this was even before my time, so I've only been working at MTC for about 13 months. So this was decided even way before I began. Um, so this was something, yeah, basically was like, we're doing this. I was like, great. So, it's anyway. how's it going? Can you tell us how much, like, this is, how many have you done? You've done like 20 or so? so? Uh, I believe we've done about 29 already, and we have about Maybe like seven more to go. This is one of the seven, I believe. I, know. I looked at the spreadsheet <laughs> yesterday. So you don't do all of them? Right? No, no, no. I mean, we have a huge team of people that go out. Um, we have different language needs, of course. Sure. So we have staff that speak Spanish, staff that speak 
Chinese, um, Cantonese, and Mandarin, and so it just depends. Um, those are the three languages that are, I mean, English, Chinese, and Spanish are the three most spoken languages, so we want to make sure that we have representation for all those communities. Mm -hmm. yeah. But of course, we have other language needs, and so we are considering other languages. Well, except in those 20 plus events that you've done, like what kind of turnout have you had? Um, well, I, I was just recently with my colleagues, English, we were at the Dia de los Muertos event on Saturday. We had a tremendous crowd. And where was that? In Oakland. Oh, in Oakland. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so we were there uh, all the three hours. Boy, do we get a lot of comments. Mm -hmm. A lot of feedback. So, what, how do you, what kind of comments do you get? Oh, all kinds. I mean, people say, oh, I love the strategy, however you should change this thing, or oh, I don't like this, this idea, because blah, 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 or they just come up with new ideas. So we have a board for, like, I like your idea, I don't like the idea, or I have a feeling. And so we're considering all of them. We're compiling this in a... Uh, database for it, or basically like <laughs> compiling all the comments in the aggregate. So we are asking about the ideas, are they looking at, you know, like, are they money or budgets or what, what kind of criteria are you looking for? I guess maybe more the questions. What do you look for to this that they can put that they can move them with the post-it notes to be able to shape the 30-year plan? So why do we want to know if you're on target? I was thinking about Marin Transportation Authority. I would be thinking about how do I evacuate people? How do I get people around? What if the sea level rise happens? What happens to all the housing here? What happens to people that don't have uh, more than one month's rent? You know what I mean? Because, I mean, what you back up when you're making them wage? And you don't have <laughs> money to move. I mean, how are you planning for that? Because that, when I look at the Bay Area, so that, like that. That's well, I just want to be mindful that's where Tim's going to start. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, and the family are good. Um, so, if you don't mind, um, I need to, do you need to switch here? Sure, sure. Absolutely. Yeah. And even a simple answer for one second here. Great. In the, terms of your plan. The, most part, the most important part of this plan is for people to think about the region. Mm -hmm. So just not just think about the community, but also like have them think about um, being connected to their local electives as well. Mm -hmm. So this is like part of like, we're, we're region wide, we're thinking oh, big here. Oh, but we're not, um, we're not that city representatives. Like we can't answer the line code question. Like that's not, that's not, you know what I mean? Like, and I know that, but you're, you're presenting yourself as a transportation authority. And you have, it sounds like a lot of backing and you're dealing with the state and the feds. So I would think you'd be at least discussing these issues and then sharing those that outlet with the community because these people are going to be directly affected by the things that I just brought up. I mean, I would think that would be part of your conversation. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I think it just depends on like what level people want to engage in. So like this whole activity is not like listening for us. Okay, so you so, just listen to so me. Exactly. Okay, so yeah, I'm sorry. It's sorry to make two minutes. You're raising so. really good questions and I think it's a part of the question of like how this impacts people who come to the events at farmers markets or libraries <laughs> and the language, like even seeing our number nine current key current urban growth boundaries. I would guess a lot of people have never heard of that discussion before it's kind of difficult to do that or and we explain concepts, right? Like we try to make these as simple as possible. But that's part of our job too. Like that's why we're here. That's why we're not just putting a word up and people just you know what I mean? Like we're here to this question. It's kind of like you're doing it one on one, like with us. With their right. the job. And anyone but else that comes in, so who needs to know? Well, that's why we are uh, we're launching a digital engagement summit. Not depending on people having a book, but they don't want but to. We're also, but that's going to happen a lot. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Off the chair? Sorry. Yeah, just put it someplace. Just so someone can sit down. Are we going? Yeah, yeah, we're going to go Okay.